Take a look at the damage in front of Weston Attendance Center. Large trees down. Now, when the storm came rolling through, about a thousand students were inside the building. Many took shelter in the basement of a gymnasium. The doors on the end of the building started flapping back and forth, and it blew over then. So. It was, it was pretty, pretty scary. Moments before the storm hit the school, teachers rushed students out of the classrooms and into hallways. So they were all against the wall like they were supposed to, heads down, so they, they were safe. Moments later, the storm was gone and the damage was done. We have uh, two gymnasiums that are damaged pretty well in our library. It seems that whatever was at the highest elevations, it took a brunt of the wind. It seemed like it was up. As you can see the trees. The storm toppled trees that damaged cars parked behind the gym where students took shelter. Um, we just saw the wind and then all of a sudden everything just started flying and we knew that either a straight line winds or either a possible tornado. As you can tell with the trees snapped and everything else. Nervous parents rushed to the school to pick up their kids. Scared but glad that everything's okay. We was trying to get here and the trees was down just about everywhere. It, it got bad like in just a few seconds it, outside the window at the house. It was two blocks from here, it was, it was scary. Administrators now assessing the damage after the storm to determine which parts of the school will have to be closed off until it can be repaired. And many are counting their blessings that everyone got out of the storm safely. Reporting in Capaya County, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.